It's supposed to be a moment What good is being the one When you the only one that knows it One man, one show One I'm army, nigga <laughs> I'm a goat, God, nigga What? Really, nigga? What's good, bitch ass niggas? How y'all motherfuckers feeling, man? It's the goat god in this bitch, nigga. But look, man, we got a lot of news to cover, talk about, so um, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of shit that y'all niggas don't know. So be sure to watch the full video. It's a lot of shit, man. Hey, man, I just got through watching the, the biggest finesse <laughs> in fucking YouTube history, nigga. Like, nigga, it was <laughs> the, the Logan Paul and fucking KSI fight, nigga, like, these did y'all niggas getting finesse, boy. Like it was clear Logan, well maybe not clear, but Logan won them first two rounds. And KSI basically won everything after, son. <laughs> niggas say draw. Like nigga, I, I stupid, nigga. Niggas is weird. But hey man, all this YouTube shit is fucking fake, man. But yeah, man, before we get into the motherfucking video, don't forget to like my shit, nigga. Don't be no stingy ass nigga, man. You know that. Uh, click that bitch, you know, <laughs> you know, help a young nigga get recommended. But look, man, so we're gonna come to you niggas with some motherfucking pro am news. Th this shit just got dropped. Private matchmaking and pro am for NBA 2K19, man. So let's talk about this for a little bit, man. I don't really give a fuck about this. I mean, I do like pro am more than park, but it's harder to find five niggas. Like it takes too long. To find five niggas that are good enough to play, you know? But I enjoy 5v5s way more. And I hope in 19 I have some consistent no life geek niggas so I don't have to wait two hours to fucking play. But y'all let me know if y'all hype. I know niggas who make all these tournaments and all these pro am geeks that play way more than you park niggas are fucking ecstatic, nigga. You know? Um, here are some details when it comes to the pro am shit. Pro-Am teams can create passwords to share with other Pro-Am teams. When both teams enter the password, they are connected for a private game. Privately matched games do not count as ranked games. Now, also, some other news was dropped. Now, I know niggas is really hype. So, this nigga, uh, Zach Timmerman tweets out, Your mind player will earn badges and will progress in private games just like public pro -Am. I don't have an enemy to say it's lit, but it's definitely awesome. Now, of course these niggas are fucking stupid. You know, they don't have no niggas up there that actually play the game. Boosting. Niggas are going to boost. If nigga, niggas are gonna play each other. What? Like, niggas are going to boost. Like, what the fuck? I'm gonna go, hey, hey guys, you wanna get your badges up? Blah, 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 blah. So maybe that's what niggas was talking about on how, why, uh, Badges will be much easier. Maybe badge grinding ain't gonna be as hard as all the other years, man. Cause fuck badges, nigga. I don't give a fuck about that shit, nigga. I'm trying to drop niggas off. I don't give a fuck about grinding for no fucking badges. Y'all let me know if y'all excited for all this news, man. And if you think they're gonna allow boosting. Cause I, you can't, these guys can't be that fucking stupid to just let boosting be in. They might just take the bitch out. You know, I don't know why the nigga confirmed this shit. Or maybe it just might just be minimal as shit. But I'm sure niggas will find some type of way, bro. Now, here goes the good motherfucking news, bro. <clears throat> in the full game, you will be able to compare archetypes, right? Say you got a pure playmaker and a shot creating playmaker. You will be able to compare them, see the badge difference, I think. But you, I know for sure that that's this is what they say. You'll be able to see the rating difference and you'll be able to compare builds. It's never been done before, blah, blah, blah. That's cool. You know, now you're just not finessing us, you know, because me and me and Young Breeze had to make these fucking videos about how y'all niggas finessing the shit out of us. So, you know, that's good, bro. But in the prelude, you're not going to be able to do that. But in the prelude, you're going to be able to see all your badges. And in the full game, you're going to be able to see all your badges before you co before you com you pick your build, you know? That's very good. You know, 2K's finally listening when it comes to this. Now, I don't give a fuck if they finally listen to this if the gameplay ass, you know. Fuck you, nigga, but it's nice to see y'all actually listening 
on these core features that really irritate your fucking users, you know? Irritate. This is why niggas get so much backlash, because y'all just finesse. But now y'all y'all seeing, we not with the shit, nigga. We not with this shit. Now, apparently, there's no animation glitch. <laughs> there's no animation glitch in NBA 2K19. Now, I think they said this for 18. Um, I don't believe this shit, so don't get too hype, fuck, niggas. You feel me? Um, every year there's an animation glitch. History repeats itself, and that's just how it goes, my nigga. Shout out to my nigga J. Cole, nigga. Um, apparently it's not supposed to be in this bitch, so a lot of you bum-ass niggas is gonna get fucking exposed. But, I don't, and also, you know, it's not like, oh, now stretches are trash. Nigga, I don't get cooked by stretches just abusing animations, glitches, you know? When I'm playing, niggas is hitting in niggas' face. Spraying them niggas, skeeting in they fucking face and shit, bro. And niggas is just, you know, they can dunk, they can do everything. So, you know, it's just shooting in niggas' face for me. I don't really be, you know, niggas still gonna can be nice with a stretch. It don't take skill to be good with a stretch. You fucking, you spam at fucking X, you glitch around, you burst, and then you just shoot the fucking green. You know, it uh, oh, it's gonna take more skill now. Like, no, bitch, you walk into a nigga, snatch back, walk back, like, nigga, you know? Hopefully there's no animation glitch, because that, that shit really ruined the game, bro. Every fucking year, my nigga. I hate that shit. And then, look, if it does come out, I hope these niggas ban them, bro. You know, be like, yo, you put this shit on, we gonna ban you. But, yeah, man. Now, apparently, to upgrade your player to 85, which is the cap before you gotta, like, start playing the game and shit, um, is 190 VC. Now, um, I wanna tell you guys something, and y'all be sure to share this video, my nigga. Look, listen closely, bro. Don't listen to these other influencers. Listen, listen to me. I have your best interest at heart, nigga. Okay? Seriously. Now... You only get 100k VC when the game come out. You're gonna have to spend VC either way. So that costs even more. You, you talking like 150, if not more, on VC, right? But look, listen to this. Now last year, you remember that problem when niggas players would disappear for fucking months? They spent all that money and they didn't get it back till forever. It was just a mass delete. You know, niggas players corrupted and shit in the beginning. Look. To avoid all this shit, to avoid all of this, listen closely. If you are not a YouTuber and streamer, get the standard edition, nigga. Fuck the fucking old four day early edition. Fuck that shit, bro. I'm going to tell you why, bro. I've said this in my previous videos. Get the standard edition. I don't care. Oh, you play the game. You're going to be behind. Shut the fuck up. We're playing this shit all year. Have some fucking patience, nigga. What this will also create is you not making archetype mistakes. You will be able to see the fucking, see everyone making all these archetypes. You'll be able to see if they like them or not. See if there's some problem with them. See if niggas shit get corrupted off first rip. Plus the server's gonna be ass. You're not really gonna be able to play the fucking game anyway, nigga. For like the first week or two. You know, like it's gonna be unplayable. If you wait four days, you're going to be able to see everyone's fucking mistakes. Trust me. Have some patience, my nigga. You're going to be able to watch people play and all this shit. You might, oh, I want to play so bad, but just calm down, you know? And then look, if you're willing to spend 100, you can put 60 on VC, bro. And then even more, you'll get more bang for your buck for VC. Fuck all that my team shit. Who the fuck play my team, nigga? But this is for if you a park, nigga, man. Uh I guess my team niggas is saying it's worth it or whatever, but I don't give a fuck. This is for if you a park nigga. You know, that, that's mainly what my YouTube is, but yeah. Make sure y'all subscribe if you know, bro. Now look, I already touched on this um, ankle breaker shit, but they're saying you can only drop niggas when you're in taker, takeover mode, okay? Only fully drop them if you're in takeover mode and you need playmaking first. Unless you 94, then it could be second, nigga. But um, you can make them lean 
when when you're not in takeover mode, which is just being fucking hot. But um, I never understood why they make playmakers the ankle breaker niggas. It should be the shot creating niggas, correct? Because when when you when you look at niggas like AI or Chris Paul or if you look at just pure playmakers, right? Facilitators and shit like Steve Nash and shit. They not just ripping niggas ankles like real real true playmakers. They not ripping niggas ankles, but shot creating niggas are like shot creating playmakers and shit. Like you know them niggas who who not known but they still like run the point. They not known for being a great facilitator, but they a score or they just <clears throat> you know. So I think shot creators should be able to have Hall of Fame ankle breaker. They're saying only um. Pure playmakers are going to be able to have fucking um, Hall of Fame ankle breaker. I don't think that's cool. I think that's stupid as shit. So this might make uh, <laughs> pure playmakers definite build. Because y'all know the build with the highest ankle breaker, that's definitely going to be a build that you're going to have to, you're going to really want, my guy. And that's basically the video, my nigga. Y'all be sure to go watch... Um, my previous videos on all this fucking new shit, man. I appreciate you so much. A lot of good info. A lot of good roasting. A lot of funny ass sessions, nigga. Be sure to follow a young nigga on Twitch. Subscribe to my Twitch. I will add all of you niggas. You'll have a chance to play other games with me. You'll be have a chance to fucking um, play 2K19 with me. And all this other shit, you know. Support a young nigga. Spend more time on this bitch. The more y'all support. Um, follow me on Twitter. Um, all my other social media, everything in the fucking description. Um, I'm gonna try to stream tonight, so y'all be sure to motherfucking be there. <laughs> Probably gonna beat some niggas ass on fucking Naruto. Live is fucking trash. Y'all niggas let me know if you want me to drop a video on that. Drink a gallon of water of motherfucking day. That will keep your acne away and your dandruff away. You feel me? You have a lot more energy, like, nigga. Um... Wash your face, brush your teeth, don't be no dirty bitch, floss, mouthwash, and I'm out this bitch, nigga.